everyone and welcome to another video. Today's video I am doing a my favourite book covers video again where I basically talk about what book covers I really really love at this moment in time. I bought some new books recently, some new covers have been released and are being released so I feel like I've got loads to tell you. What? Say something. No. Alright. Fucking hearing ghosts. <laughs> so first off, I'm actually starting with a mini cover reveal because the amazing author, Kerr Ann Dempster, she has a sequel coming out to her book, which I'm reading at the moment, The Reluctant Sacrifice, and it's called The Reluctant Huntress. So this is the cover. I've made it onto this video because of the purple, which is almost my favorite color of the girl's face, and just the way it's all arranged on the cover, I really love. So yes, here is the cover for Kerr Ann's sequel to The Reluctant Sacrifice. Now, The Reluctant Sacrifice is on sale at the moment for 99p, and we have a little thing going where if you download the book and post a picture on social media with the hashtag KerrBen, then you can win some bookish swag from the author, and she'll be tweeting and Instagramming you and picking winners. So that's a fun little treat to start the video off with. So I'm gonna start off with this book here. It's called Fellside by M.R. Kerry. I literally know nothing about it except it's an adult fiction thriller, and it's by one of my favorite authors, and there's literally one book out by this author called The Girl With All The Gifts and I read it two years ago and absolutely died for it so I had to buy this today and what I really love about the cover is it's so simplistic. You have very bold title font and you have a branch which is kind of taking up most of the view which is very you know, what's that kind of for, you know, what's the significance there? But in the background, there is a prison, and you can see the outline of a prison in the mist, and it very much gives you the sense that this is a thriller. You pick this book up, and you know it's going to be a thriller slash horror. So it just speaks the story and genre perfectly. And also, Lainey Taylor said you will not want to put this down, so. The next book I am talking about is This, this Savage Song by V.E. Schwab. Again, another very simplistic cover, and another cover that kind of very much depicts the genre of what this book is going to be about. So this Savage Song has a very, very bold and bright title font which shimmers and it's red. So it kind of gives off the illusion of blood. And then you have a silver splash of ink which are turning into roses at the end. It's something that's so simplistic yet very effective that I really, really love. And what I like about it is the whiteness contrasts with the white and the theme of the font also carries on with the red on the front, red and black and the red on black on the back as well. So it's just, it's so simplistic and the spine is so nice on the shelf. Now this is a urban fantasy paranormal book I believe about demons and humans so you definitely get the feel from this that this is a bit of a paranormal with the blood and the title font especially gives off a very kind of vampire demon feel. Not that I'm saying vampires are in this book because I don't think they are but it definitely gives you that kind of feel when you're seeing it and I love that. Another book that I really love the cover is Blackheath by Gabriella Lepore. In fact, by the time this video is up, the sequel to this book would have been revealed, the cover for the sequel, and honestly, you won't want to miss it. I'll leave a link down below for the Off Tomes Instagram page. It will be on there. If you do go over from this video, give it a thumbs up and comment down below saying that I sent you because... Then I can see how many of you watch this video and go over there and check it out. But this is the first book in a paranormal witchy series set with carnivals, curses, romance and magic. This book is also a 99p today because of the cover reveal. So if you fancy getting this book by Gabriella Lepore, you can go and download it. But I like just the overall blend of colour. It's very, very simple. You have a girl blowing in the wind and a castle in the background, which makes you think... Hello there, let me go to this castle and find out what the hell's going on. So yes, it's very cool. It's like if Mean Girls got powers, but on like a more not cringy way. So yeah, Blackheath by Gabrielle Lepore, book one in the Blackheath Witches series. Last but not least, I'm talking about a Cinder Williams Chima book and that is The Warrior Air. And what I like about this again is the simplicity of it. It's got a very, very solid background color, which is blue, and it fades lighter in the middle, and you have this sword, which around it is smoke. What I like about it is you can tell that it's really been edited correctly. The smoke is wrapping around the sword. I like about the title font and the author's name are up the side, which is so unusual. And I like that there's some embellishments around the corners of the book as well. And don't forget, it says New York Times bestseller at the front because Cinder Williams Chima is a boss. So there you have it. They're all the covers I'm talking about today. I've also mentioned some sales with the reluctant Sacrifice and Blackheath for 99p and I'm also revealing covers with the one you saw in the video and one which you might be going and checking out over on Instagram down below. So definitely go and do that and apart from that I'll see you all in another video. If there's anything you would like me to film then comment down below and let me know and apart from that I'll see you all soon. Bye bye!